Today, we will compare the sharpness of two lenses, two of the most popular lenses made by Canon. At the ending of this clip, we will find out which one wins. First, let me tell you a few things about the lenses. This is the first one, the Canon EFM 22mm f2. It hit the market in 2015. It's a wide-angle lens and has the full-frame equivalent of 35mm. It only works with Canon's mirrorless APS-C sensor cameras. For this reason, it's very small and lightweight. The second lens is the Canon EF 50mm f1.8 STM. It was also released in 2015. It's a standard wide-angle lens, but it has the full-frame equivalent of 80mm when we mount it on a crop sensor camera. It works on all Canon DSLRs. With an adapter, we can also use it on the EOS M mount. It's a bit larger than the 22mm lens and roughly 50 grams heavier. Now that we know a few things about our lenses, let's do the sharpness test. Because the 22mm lens only works on APS-C sensor cameras, we will also test the 50mm on APS-C. This is a detailed sharpness test. We will not rush. I will gradually close the aperture to better see the differences. There will be three rounds. First, sharpness in the middle of the image. Second, sharpness in the corners. And third, diffraction. Let's begin. For the sharpness test, I made this image with targets. Those targets will show us everything. Let's see the middle of the image. The first round starts now. At f1.8, we only have the 50mm lens with a good start. Now we see both lenses at f2 and f1.8. If the 50mm had a good start, the 22 has a great start. Already, the 22mm lens is winning at its widest aperture. Now, with the 50mm at f2, it's still not better than what we see on the left side. Let's close the aperture more. At f2.2, the 50mm got sharper, and now at f2.8, they have the same performance. The moment where we see excellent sharpness for both lenses is now at f3.5. From now on, they are pretty much head-to-head. -head. At f4.5, there are no major improvements. Sharpness stays the same at f5.6 and there is just a slight change at f8. Here, the images are just a bit more punchy. Now, we will move in the corner of the image, where things are a bit more difficult for all lenses. It seems that the 22mm lens is better in the middle. But let's see if the 50mm lens will win the next round. In the corner at f1.8, the 50mm lens has a rough start, but it's not that bad. Now we see the 22mm lens at its widest aperture. Things are looking a bit ugly in the left side. Now, with both lenses aligned at f2, the 50mm lens seems to be winning. Interesting. At f2.2, there are no major improvements. We already know who will win at corner sharpness, but don't go away just yet. There will be a surprise at f11. If we stop down to f2.5, the image is a bit more punchy, and at f2.8, the 50mm is already looking good. The 22 is still struggling. Let's now keep our eye on the left side and close to f3.5. Finally better. At f4, the 50mm is brilliant, and the 22 got much better. Peak corner sharpness for both lenses is reached now at f5.6. Going beyond this, we see that the 22mm lens never quite gets as sharp as the 50mm lens. Let's keep our eye on the left side and gradually close the aperture. It's still a good performance, but not as good as what we see on the right. It's time to go all the way to f22 to see which lens handles diffraction better. When we close the aperture too much, our images will become softer. That's when the effect of diffraction kicks in. Let's see who wins the third round. Everything is looking good until we reach f10. Now, look on the left side. Here is where the 22mm lens will start to suffer from diffraction. Closing now to f11 and the left side got softer. It gets a bit worse at f13, but the 50mm lens is still looking good. Closing to f14 and the 50mm lens is surprising me. It really handles diffraction quite well. At f16, the right side is still looking decent, but the left side started to become unusable. 
Now at f18 we can clearly see that the 22mm lens lost this fight. If we close even more, of course too much diffraction. Both lenses eventually show a soft image. In conclusion, the 22mm lens won the first round. It is better in the middle of the image when it comes to sharpness. The 50mm lens won the second and third round. It is better in the corners and it handles diffraction very good. I want to say that I prefer the 50mm lens when it comes to sharpness, but both come highly recommended if you have an EOS M camera. They are part of the essentials, some of the cheapest good options out there. If this video was useful, press that like button, there will be more like this one. See you soon.